Federal governments and the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited have been urged to continue engaging reputable local security outfits to secure critical oil and gas assets across the creeks and plains of the Nada Delta region. President of the Isoko National Youth Assembly, Dr. Eniwake Orogun, made the appeal while speaking at a recent Nada Delta Ethnic Nationalities Youth Leaders Forum discussing on issues in the oil and gas industry held in Patakas, the river state capital. ADBN correspondent Fumilola Adeyemi completes the report. Oil theft and pipeline vandalism has long been major concern in the Niger Delta region, significantly depleting country's major source of revenue. It was in a bid to combat this menace that federal government gave approval for Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to engage local indigenous security organizations, including Tentita Security Services Limited, to complement security operations in the region and provide employment for the youths. President of Isoko National Youth Assembly, Comrade Inerik Orogun, at a meeting of the Nanja Delta Ethnic Nationality Youth Leaders Forum, commended General Managing Director of NNPCL, Dr. Mili Kiari, for partnering with the outfit. Youth leaders also observed the engagement will not only address oil theft concern, but also empower youth in the region. The import of this is that at least from data available, Tatita has employed over 26,000 people, 20, 26,000 youths across the Niger Delta region. These are seeable and touchable people. As against the audio individuals and lives we used to hear about, we see boots on the ground securing our pipeline infrastructure. We see people, we see our youths engaged day and night to ensure that our national assets are secure. And they are getting really paid for it, way above the national minimum wage. These are other kinds of engagement we are calling for in our region. Speaking further, Dr. Rogun urged the federal government to ensure full operationalization of the Oats Community Development Trust Fund as stipulated in the Petroleum Industry Act of 2021. He emphasized implementing the provision is crucial for development of the region. Since 2021, when this act came into effect, the implementation of those letters and the spirits in the act has been underwhelming by the actors in this field. And I say that with reference to section 235 of the Act, which gives impetus to the fact that all settlers, that is those that have interest in the petroleum pipeline license, to establish the host community development trusts in which a total of 3% from the previous year's annual expenditure will be deposited in an escrow account in trust for these communities so they can assess it and develop themselves at a very fast pace. Till date, we're yet to see that across the Niger Delta. The meeting was one effort by youth to curb the menace of oil theft in the region. Fumilola Adeyemi, ADBN News.